Evening, guys. I'm Paul from Morris Showers. I'll just give it a couple of minutes just to um, to give people time to join. And um, we do have a seven o'clock start time, so I'll just give them a minute if they want to jump on the app to view as well. So, um, hope everybody's keeping well. Um, testing times at the minute. Um, I'm sure for most of you. So, um, yeah. As I say, can only send my best regards on behalf of myself and Mara as well, because uh, we, you know, more than appreciate how, how much of a struggle it is at the minute. So we hit seven o'clock. So as I say, I'm Paul from Myra Showers. Um, welcome to the live lounge. Um, this is the fourth live lounge that we've done now as, as part of Gas App. So if you're joining us tonight from Gas App or indeed watching a little bit later on on YouTube, a very warm welcome to you. Equally, if you're viewing and watching tonight from Plum App um, or watching back on YouTube as well for Plum App, a very warm welcome to you guys as well. It's our very first live lounge. Um, and I wanted to uh, take the opportunity to kind of introduce myself as well. So I said to Ant, it'd be great to jump on, do a live lounge, introduce myself. As I say, my name's Paul. Um, I work for Myra Showers and I look after Gas App and Plum App. So hopefully you've seen me on the app already. If you do have any questions about our products, about the range, you've got any questions about kind of suitability, the best replacements, etc., shoot me a message on the app. I'll do everything I can to help you as well. So um, as I say, great to uh, to be able to jump on here and introduce myself as well. Um, so the intention tonight, I said to Ant, it'd be great to uh, to jump on um, and give you guys um, a bit of an overview of the products that we do, um, just so as you can kind of understand the breadth of offering that, that we've got from uh, from Myra Showers. Um, equally though, um, I'm trusting that most of you are aware that we're doing a giveaway tonight as well. So I support the launch of our brand new um, installer loyalty program, Myra Installer Pro. Um, we're doing a giveaway tonight. We're giving away 10 Myra Installer Pro hoodies. Um, and if all you need to do to get involved is just shoot me a question, either on Gas App or Plum App, um, into the live lounge. Um, and the questions will come through to me live tonight um, in order to answer those for you. So if you've not put a question on already, jump on, get involved, um, and be. I quite like one myself, if I'm honest. Um, so, um, yeah, absolutely jump on there, get, get some of those, those questions asked as well. Um, and as I say, they are live on there. Just follow that question through and I'll do my very, very best to answer it as well. So a um, little bit like Blue Peter um, tonight in the spare bedroom. I've got shower parts scattered all around me. Here's one I made earlier, that kind of thing. So um, as I said to Ant, it'd be great to introduce the range. But equally, there's so many questions tonight. Um, I, I really want to kind of crack on through those um, and kind of, answer the questions that you want answering rather than me just talk at you for half an hour. So um, I'm going to dive straight into the questions. Some really good questions tonight, just in terms of, you know, the, the product range that we do, a few technical questions as well, and, and some kind of product suitability questions. So I'll dive into them. And as I say, if you've got any other questions, fire them into the app um, and I'll, I'll look at those as they come in live as well. So the first question tonight is coming from Fred. Um, and Fred's just said, um, Paul, on electric showers, I know the higher the kilowatt you go, the, high, the hotter the water. But do they give you higher flow rate as well? Thanks, Fred. So, um, the thing that kind of, you know, I'd like to remind people about electric showers is they're very much like a combi boiler. It's an instantaneous water heater on the electric um, and also kind of typically about a third of the size of it as well. So, um, yeah, absolutely right. The higher you go up um, the kilowatt ratings, regardless of what um, what product range of ours that you're looking at in the electric shower category, um, the higher the kilowatt, the faster the capability of it heating that water as well. And you'll notice in the back of some of our installation manuals as well, there'll be a performance curve and it will just be able to you'll be able to see that there um, with the, the kilowatt ratings there, just as that, um, that that's as the temperature rise, the, the flow rate also rise, rises. Um, proportionately to that as well. I think typically we probably say for a nine kilowatt shower um, and very much the same as, as combis, combis will work off that 35 degree rise. Um, electric showers will, we, we kind of, the, the, the industry barometer really is 30 degree rise. So it's a 30 degree rise um, for um, a nine kilowatt shower um, to probably, probably a 40 kilowatt shower. You're probably looking about four litres a minute as you go to the, the top of there really. 9.8 and then to 10.8 you're looking probably four and a half about that flow rate in correspondence to the, the, the kilowatt rating as well so yeah great question fred um you know again kind of much like a ferrari you want the biggest and the best 
Um, but as we all know, depending on kind of what the installation is, whatever the cross-sectional area of cable, etc., that that's the real you know prohibitive bit really for a customer and, and specifying the the highest kilowatt rate in that they can either afford it or really want. Um, so yeah, great question, Fred. Thank you. Um, one for the football fan, fans here from Mark. So um, there's been a little bit of banter on gas app today. So um, our parent company, Cola, um, if you're not aware, um, they own Moira Showers. They also, they're also a principal sponsor for Manchester United. Um, and they've, they've released now a Manchester, U Manchester United range um, of sanitary wear and, and showering as well. Um, so, yeah, kind of, I'll re remain completely impartial when it comes to football. But um, yeah, we'll absolutely stop slating it. It's, it's our parent company. But um, equally, if you've got that kind of money to spend, the gear is pretty impressive, I must say. Um, so question just pinged in from Liam on that electric shower topic. Um, just with electric showers, was the minimum pressure one bar in order them, for them to work? Um, so great question, Liam, when it comes to electric. So with electrics, if you have a look in the installation manual, we will stipulate that there's a minimum maintained pressure in order for the, the, the shower to work correctly. So one of the, um, the unique selling points of our electric showers is, is the Sensiflow technology, as we call it. So basically, the Sensiflow is a diaphragm within the electric shower, which senses the maintained pressure. So for an, an electric shower up to nine um, kilowatts, we, we normally say the minimum maintained pressure is 0 0.7 bar. So basically, you can fit an electric shower onto a main supply, but if it's not 0 0.7 bar, the shower will never get hot. So it's a safety device basically to ensure that it, it doesn't cut the water too quick because there's not enough of it going through. Um, and then when you hit the 10.8 the kilowatt showers, it then goes up to one bar minimum maintained pressure in order for that to work adequately as well. So um, always worth bearing in mind. We um, we see a lot, you know, nowadays with kind of new estates where they'll, they'll pop up an estate without necessarily upgrading the water mains and also kind of in apartments and, and kind of three-storey townhouses where the mains pressure on the cold is adequate in the first and, and second floor. As soon as you start to get up to that third floor then um, that you, you, you know, seldom got 0.7 or, or the one bar for the electric shower to, to work. It will, it will work, it will let the water through, but the safety device won't let the elements kick in. Um, so always um, always good to know. Um, question here from Pat, is there any problems fitting an electric shower to the main that has a water meter on it? Absolutely not, Pat. Um, as I say, kind of providing you've got those minimum maintained pressures at the shower, 0.7 bar or one bar if it's a 10.8 kilowatt shower, then it's absolutely fine if there's, there's a meter on it or whatever. You just need to get that maintained pressure to the shower in order for it to operate and operate safely, really. Um, just having a look here. So um, <laughs> nice little question from, from Mart here. So why can't the filters be more accessible rather than having to disconnect the mains feed? The Myra XL had removable plugs at the front, if you remember rightly. It did, the Myra XL kind of, everybody harks back to the Myra XL. We still sell it. It's such a bulletproof product and, and kind of well regarded within the trade. Um, which is why we've been selling it for the best part of, you know, 20, probably nearly 30 years now. Um, but yeah, the big the big answer to that really, Martin, is, is just aesthetics. When we're developing products, um, and as some of you, you will know, because I believe that some of you guys um, might have been invited as part of some product research sessions this week and last week. Um, we do some real heavy research and, and the consumer research feeds into that as well. Um, and we will give them that, that sample, we'll give them kind of, dummy um prototypes of products with you know with elbows showing concealed elbows etc um and you know as much as we have to design things with the installer in mind it's also the people that, that have got to have them in you know look at them in, in their sharer as well um for, for the duration of the lifespan of that product so we, you know we specifically design these products so that they're easy to install and, and hopefully easy to maintain as well there's a fine balance just in terms of satisfying everything that the installer wants um, and also that of the consumer as well and hopefully we kind of we knit it together just right whereby it's nice and easy to get on the wall but sometimes as you say Martin you might have to, to remove it in order to clean the filter sometimes particularly on on mixer showers and things like that as well so kind of my sincere apologies for that but uh, as I say it's just kind of trying to, to balance the needs um, our service technicians um, would, would want kind of built-in isolators built-in um, filters everything on on every shower without even having to remove the cover 
Um, so again, it's kind of there's the practicality and also the uh, the aesthetics as well. Um, Lee Woodland, hi Mara. I'd hope Mara would do an installer scheme like boiler manufacturers do for a while. Having fitted almost exclusively Mara molds for the past few years, it's a great product, by the way. Thank you, Lee. Um, is there any chance we can backdate our installations? So great question. So as you'll be aware, hopefully you'll um, you'll have seen the alerts on the app and also um, a couple of posts from me. We launched Installer Pro last week. Fantastic um, kind of milestone for us. It's our hundredth year as a business. Mara Shower was founded in 1921. So um, really proud um, opportunity for me to launch the scheme with installers. So Installer Pro launched last week, um, but it, the, the, the start date is ultimately um, January 21. So unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to backdate any of your installations pre um, this year, unfortunately. Um, in terms of kind of eligibility going forward, so you can register products as of January um, for three months back. So January is the hard stop. In March, if you realise that you found a receipt out for a shower that you purchased in January, absolutely, um, you can um, register that on Installer Pro and get the points for it. But anything pre the 1st of January, unfortunately, isn't eligible for the points. So um, great opportunity for me to clarify that. So thank you, Lee. Um, what future products do you think will be the most beneficial for the customer? Um, question from Scott. Um, so for me, it's, it's undoubtedly digital products. I think when we, we look at digital products um, and the kind of the understanding of, of digital products, I think kind of there's the hardware in terms of the digital stepper motors driving the thermostatic mixer um, and solenoids. But then I think it's the other kind of extra add-ons when we've got obviously connected homes and kind of um, smart products as well. I think the evolution of digital showers um, is really only at the cusp. I think who knows what it will be like um, eventually. I think the opportunity, um, somebody's mentioned already here to, today about kind of our parent company, Cola, and the voice connected products that they already do. The opportunity to grow our range um, with voice activation and things like that um, will be a huge kind of um, catalyst, I think, just in terms of showering and bathing. And I think certainly for, for the disabled, the less abled, um, and even the elderly, the infirm, et cetera, to be able to turn the share on by voice um, and also kind of have kind of um, if, the, if this, then that kind of functions where if they turn their lights on between 6 and 6.30, the share knows it's time to come on. I think that kind of um, automation has definitely got a future in our industry. So um, that's the bit that kind of, um, I shouldn't say I get excited by sharers, but evidently I do. I think that's, that's the bit that I'm most looking forward to, if I'm honest. Um, <clears throat> evening call, I've fitted a few electric showers in rental houses. I tend to stay away from the budget 50 to 70 pound showers and tend to always opt for a Myra Gold Jump or Sprint. They all seem very similar, like the multi option with multiple inlets, cable inlet points, but you've had a few issues with the thermal switch failing after two years or so. Is this a common issue? So, great question from, from Tommy there. So, um, in terms of the thermal switch, so it, it's not I wouldn't say a common issue, per, common issue per se, but I think the thermal switch sometimes, in terms of the components that labour the most, um, the thermal switch is the SATA device. Um, kind of uh, lean, up, lean on my Blue Peter moment here. So this is the uh, the, the, the Myra Sprint, or, or you guys might also know it as the Myra Jump as well, but it's our multi-fit electric shower. So the thermal switch, the safety device just sits on top of the, uh, the heater tank here and it operates at 48 and 75 degrees. This is the key safety component for an electric shower. So when or if the heater tank, either because it's scaled or because the outlet has become blocked, the holes or the handset scaled up or kinked or blocked, then at 48 degrees, if the, the temperature of the tank reaches 48 degrees, the bimetallic switch in there will turn off the elements momentarily to give the tank a chance to cool down. Once it cools back down again to less than 48 degrees, the elements will come back in to start resuming heating the water. If at any point it reaches 75 degrees, then the thermal switch will operate indefinitely. So basically the water's got too hot in the tank um, and caused that thermal switch to operate. I would say kind of one of the things which probably often overlooked, particularly by consumers, is the condition of the handset and the hose. I think kind of 
if the thermal switch is operating, it'd be operating for a, a good reason. But the condition of the handset, the hose, is that is the hose as it become kinked, twisted? Is the uh, the handset is it scaled up? Are there is it, they're not being a good cleaning regime by the customer to keep it free flowing? Could cause this to overheat and for that to operate as well. So again, kind of what goes in must come out, and if those fittings are in an, aren't in a good condition, then you know that that's going to cause that to operate as well. Kind of at pains to say, really, in terms of the product, there's a two-year guarantee on these products. Um, and the reason why we're so confident just in terms of the longevity of our electric chairs um, is because of, of, of what we call clear scale technology. So inside any one of those heater tanks um, is, is our patented heating element. So as you'll see here with the elements, they're interwoven. So as you know, you've got low, medium, high on electric shower. When you switch in medium or high, you're selecting one or two elements and what we do to distribute heat evenly to prevent the proliferation of scale and also kind of the build-up of scale um, is alternate um, those those elements within the uh, the actual heat tank in order to spread it evenly and prevent those hot spots so as i say i think if, if you're seeing those problems think graham check the outlets first um, would be one of the things i would say um, and then kind of if it is a hard water area or something like that and it, and it is potentially even with clear scale technology overheating, then kind of a scale beta um, or a scale reducer of some sort could kind of come into play, um, particularly if it's, it's one of those hard water areas as well. Um, questions coming, coming, still coming through thick and fast, so I really, really appreciate this. Um, another question here, when changing a shower hose, does the bore have to be the same? Um, I've just got a similar question a little bit earlier with regards to kind of fittings as well, um, so that, in terms of, of fittings, um, much to your question there, Graham, about the shower holes and the bore, um, we, the, the similar question that we also had was around the handsets. So, you know, in terms of fittings, we would always advocate that you fit um, a Myra shower. Of course, I work for Myra showers, I would say that, um, but there's a good reason behind it. Um, so mainly it's due to the fact that, you know, all of our fittings are designed so all of our handsets, all of our hoses are as free flowing as possible to ensure first and foremost that you get the best performance out of the shower, but also that any kind of, you know, over time or the scale restriction, etc., doesn't adversely affect the shower um, in a very short space of time. You'll notice that on all of our handsets, we've got rub free nodules. So again, it's not a case of getting the boyer out and having to descale my shower head every single week. You know, the slightest build up of scale can be kind of rubbed off with the rub free nozzles to prevent it becoming an issue as well. The other thing is with our hoses. So absolutely, Graham, we would always advocate the use um, of, of a Myra hose in replacement on any of our products, particularly on the electrics because of that bore. So all of our ho the hoses um, on our products, again, particularly the electrics, um, a half inch bore, half inch BSP thread, threads um, and half inch bore. We see sometimes um, on electric showers, customers, they're experiencing problems with their electric shower and it's the middle of Lidl and, and put a nice new holes on it, which is only 3.8. Um, and it's that restrictive nature, which basically stops the water from coming out of the shower um, at, at the adequate flow rate and therefore causes the shower to heat up. So I'd always advocate that, that you know, whatever product it is, electric, mix or digital, always buy the right um, Myra accessory for it if it needs replacement. Um, just find some more questions here. As I say, just kind of skipping about here, trying to get the ones that you're sending in here, but also kind of getting through the list as well. Um, so yeah, Alan, very similar question. I think that was the one I was kind of alluding to. Um, is it okay to swap your hoses and heads to different electric showers of the, across the range? I've always thought not, but a lot of the shower heads are very similar. It's always been a grey area for me, after having spent 20 years in, in plumbing. So yeah, I think kind of, as you say, there are some similarities across the range, but whatever um, handsets or hoses that we pair up with the products um, have done so because they've been specifically tested to optimise the performance, but then also to ensure that um, you know you get the the, the best long long life out of it as well. So definitely, Alan, always um, stick to to the same kind of fittings. We do have some kind of you know what we might call signature um, handsets. So kind of some of you guys who might be familiar with our um, Digital range of products, you might know this one, the Myra 360. So again, 
fantastic design and very unique in terms of the way in which it works and looks. Um, but this is designed specifically for mixers and digital showers because that's what it's sold with. Um, probably best not to um, fit one of these onto um, a, a, an electric shower, not because um, the, the spray patterns aren't suitable for it, but there are certain sprays, such as this sugar spray here, which has got a very fine gauze, works absolutely fine on a mixer or a digital shower, but could be quite restrictive on an, on an electric shower and therefore cause it to overheat. And then you get the old thermal switch problem that we've just talked about happening as well. So kind of always stick to um, the same accessories um, rather than kind of swapping and changing. Um, question here from Lee. Um, Hi, Paul. Are there any new showers coming out in the near future, i.e. electric or digital? Many thanks, Lee. Um, so some of you guys might, um, particularly um, if you're, uh, you're joining us from Gas App tonight, might have saw just before Christmas we launched with you guys exclusively the brand new Mora Activate digital range of showers. So that's brand new for us. So we kind of definitely kind of wanted to give you guys a first look at that, which is why actually it's the very first shipments um, have been leaving the factory on the week that we presented it to you. Um, the rest of the range now is going to be going out at the end of this month as well. So the Mara Activate, just in terms of, of a product, um, it's a brand new, you know, completely rebuilt from the ground up digital mixing valve platform. So it's brand, brand new to the market from, from us. It's got a brand new app that accompanies it, it, it as well. All new digital valve technology. Um, and it's also been designed to retrofit some of our competitors' digital showers as well. So that's, that's new on the ro horizon as well. Um, and you guys as well who, who've either look, been looking at the Gas app or the, uh, the Plum app YouTube channel, or even if you've joined up um, on Installer Pro, our new loyalty scheme, you might have seen some articles and also some videos on the new Mora Minimal mixer shower. So Mora Minimal, that's the latest mixer shower literally launched um, in January. Um, you guys who, uh, who won the competition um, within Plum app for... Um, for, for the Myra Minimal. We gave 10 away in January. You'll be probably the first people to be actually getting one in your hands. Um, so those are probably the two latest and exciting products that, that we've got coming through, Lee. Um, and again, you know, Myra Activate, it is, as I say, it's brand new when it comes to digital valves, um, totally designed from the ground up. And as I say, it comes with our new signature app as well. I think the, um, the point to mention with, with the app as well, um, is that we've also made it retros retrospective to work with um, Myra Mold. So if you or any of your customers do already have the Myra Mold digital shower, um, you can go into the App Store or Google Play um, and, and download the latest Myra app, which will then replace the existing Myra Mold app to give you more functionality um, and, and some more features within the app as well. So that's probably worth mentioning as well. Um, I think kind of the, the bit that I would say, Liz, is kind of, the partnership with Gas App and Plum App and also kind of the news that we can put out through um, Installer Pro, the loyalty scheme, then kind of stay tuned and you guys will be the first to know about it. Um, it, it kind of, as I say, it's my bread and butter to, to ensure that you guys know. Um, so the, the latest and greatest, I'll ensure that it's on your radar. Um, good question here from Lloyd. Um, Lloyd, I've been looking at the sport, the, the, the sport range of electric showers. So what's the difference between the standard sport and the, uh, the air boost. So great question. Another blue Peter moment for me. Um, so yeah, we, we get asked this a lot. Um, the the, the Morris Sport Max is incredibly popular. It's probably one of our best selling electric showers and for good reason. Um, but sometimes I think, you know, when you're looking either in the merchants or you're looking in a kind of a, a catalogue of, of whatever wholesalers, it, it's very difficult to distinguish the difference. So with a typical electric shower, it tends to be mechanically operated. So you've obviously got the flow valve here, which um, regulates the flow of water through the unit. But in order to turn zero elements, one element or two elements on, it's normally a mechanical dial. So this, um, this, this particular model with, with the Morris Sport Max is actually driven by um, a relay PCB as opposed to having a mechanical switch assembly with micro switches in. And for that reason, you've got much better aesthetic just in terms of some nice flashy LED lights. But the other added benefit as well is that you can actually turn the shower on and off by selecting that function. So again, added user flexibility, user control for your customer, whereby rather than, right, I'm gonna have it on low, high, medium, and then turn it on, they can just press one button, right, I'm having it on high this morning, and it comes on. 
So nice little tweaks there just in terms of styling and also kind of control for your customer. But the biggest and probably the most popular feature about um, Sport Max, as well as the, um, the Relay PCB technology, is the air boost functionality. So this little button on the top here, as I say, because this is um, Relay PCB, all LED um, lit functionality, the air boost button um, is really why, and you know, why I believe this is probably the most popular sport um, electric shower across the range. So the air boost button uh, is contained within the shower just before the water actually leaves the outlet here is a little air injector pump. So basically the air injector pump injects pockets of air into the water as it leaves the shower. So you can just see here, we've got the main half inch thread where the holes connect, but we've also got another little air, in tube, air intake tube which actually feeds within the actual hose itself, there is a separate little aerator tube, which feeds down to the hose, and there's a little aerator which sits into the actual handset itself and disperses the pockets of air. So very, very kind of simple but unique feature, but by injecting those pockets of air, it boosts the flow rate from, from the handset up to 30%. So again, kind of when we're thinking about electric showers, You've obviously got seasonal effects within the winter months where, you know, like any instantaneous water heater, can't eat the water as fast. Then injecting those pockets of air, it makes the water go further, get the shampoo, the shampoo out of your customer's hairs quicker and gives that perception of, of a much better and, and increased flow rate and pressure. So that's the, the, the main difference is there. And as I say, kind of don't get caught out like I did. The very first one I fitted, I forgot to fit the, the little air in the air tube which fits inside the hose. So it all comes comes pre-assembled now with the air the air hose inside the main hose. So you can't go wrong. But back in the day it was separate and I wondered why it weren't working. So yeah, that's the uh, the Myra Sport Max with air boost. And I think kind of the thing to, to, to remember about these ones as well is that we do a nine kilowatt and a 10.8 kilowatt. So historically, um Sport Max um, as part of that kind of historic sport ranges has always been reserved for the 10.8 kilowatts. So if you've got a customer who's got a nine kilowatt shower, can't necessarily upgrade to a 10.8 kilowatt because they've not got you know suitable cross-sectional area of cable, etc. Then they could go go for this with the same kilowatt rate in the nine kilowatt, but the air boost will boost the flow and the performance from that shower as well. So a nice little, little upgrade in and of itself, whether it's on a nine kilowatt or a 10.8 as well. So that's the uh, the Morris Sport Max. Have a look at these as well. Some more coming through. Um, nice little question from Graham here again. Morris Sport, brilliant shower. However, I've only seen it in white. Do you do different coloured front panels? We do, Graham. It's like I've paid you and like you're setting them up for me. Um, so. <laughs> We do, um, and, and you're absolutely right. So we get a lot of requests from, from customers and installers. Um, basically, you know, exactly to your point, we don't want that white box in the shower. And that's completely understandable. I think kind of bathroom design, kind of tiles, wall panels now, the choice is such that the customers want accessories, showering, taps, enclosures, etc., and trays um, to complement um, whatever kind of wall finishes they have in. Um, we've now got kind of coloured trays. We've got a, um, a grey slate tray as well. And we've also got that across the range of showers. So this particular one is the Mora Decor. So this the Mora Decor is available in um, three colours. So this is warm silver. We do black onyx and we also do a white one as well, which is a high gloss white panel shower. But again, Mora Decor, extremely popular um, because of the, the finishes available. And um, the really nice thing about the Mora Decor as well is that it's also available in a dual outlet. So um, again, kind of a nice little upgrade opportunity. Customers want that that kind of little bit more nicer aesthetic, a little bit of um, a, a colour finish in order to, to match their tiles, etc. And um, as I say, the decor, um, and also as you'll, you'll kind of see across um, a lot of our ranges of shows now, is also available not only as a single outlet with handset and holes, but also as a deluge as well. So the, the really nice thing about these deluges as well is the fact that not everybody wants to use the deluge. So you've got your fixed deluge rail here, but you can actually move the deluge left to right in the shower, either to center it into the middle of the showering area, or just move it out of the way because you don't want to use it. 
and you don't want it to drip on your head while you're not using it. So again, great little piece of kind of you know addition really when it comes to kind of giving your customers choice, um, not least because the finishes, but then also because you can kind of pair it up um, with a dual outlet version as well. So um, yeah, sure, Graham, yeah, absolutely. When it comes to kind of different color panels, we do have that host across the range. I think the Mora Deco that I've just showed you, extremely popular, three finishes, like I mentioned. One of the other things that is very popular as well um, is our Mora Azura range. So again, when we're kind of talking about kind of style um, and, and being able to kind of upgrade from that white box, you've got Mora Azura, which is actually a fully fronted glass panel here with a frosted glass. So, you know, beautiful looking shower just in terms of upgrading from that white box. And much the same as the decor that I've just showed you, it's available in a single and an outlet version as well, a single and a dual outlet version as well. So kind of, we've got lots of choice really just in terms of being able to give your customer a little bit more choice um, in order to match kind of their bathroom or kind of just have something which, as you say, is in a white box as well. I think um, the nice piece with Moira Azura, what I've just showed you there, um, is also the fact that it's, it's thermostatic. So um, we do thermostatic electric showers as well as kind of what we call manually um, operated electric showers. So one of the big telltale signs is the use of this timing belt here. So um, the Mara Azura there that I've just showed you with the glass fronted um, finish on it, um, it, it is a fully thermostatic electric shower. So this is the same thermostatic electric um, engine that we use in the sport thermostatic range of electric showers as well. So again, as well as it looking that, that little bit nicer as well, it's also a really nice opportunity for, for your customer. If they're, you know, they've got a little bit more to spend, they want a little bit more of added, added comfort just in terms of regulating that temperature, you can upgrade them um, to a thermostatic engine. So as I say, we do a sport thermostatic, um, which again, to Graham's point, the, the, the white box, and the Morris Sport thermostatic um, electric, but we also do um, Azura as well, which features the, the same thermostatic engine that you find in the sport as well. So again, as you all know with electric showers, if somebody operates a cold tap, flushes the toilet, there is some kind of fluctuation sometimes with the temperature stabilization. Whereas with a thermostatic electric, um, this is this will kind of keep the temperature stable plus or minus two degrees from where you were sharing at anyway. So it responds to the, the varying supply pressures if somebody does flush a toilet or, or operate a cold outlet as well. So again, as well as kind of upgrading the finish, You've also got an opportunity to kind of upgrade the, the, the kind of the mechanics and the technology within the shower as well. Um, question from Martin just come in as well. What's the nearest equivalent to the Aqualisa Visage digital pump shower that Screwfix do for three nine nine? Um, so the Aqualisa Visage, as I understand it, is probably the kind of the entry level um, digital shower across their range. So probably in terms of price comparison um the the our kind of our, our entry level kind of as i say kind of opening price point for digital showers um would be the myra mold so um i happen to have one here um so yeah myra mold um easily identified by the nice chrome um user interface here um it is a hardwired um digital share as well but it comes with a nice white backlight um with the user interface and the one that i've actually got here um, rather than it being a single outlet or a dual outlet shower, it's actually a bath shower. So you've got the, the shower head um, operated by the top button and you've got the bath filler, which is operated on the bottom on this particular version. But again, these products, hardwired digital um, shower, designed specifically to sort of kind of sit in and around that price point, Martin. So I think the, the big kind of addition here is that we've, you know, it, it's a similar price point but there's a lot more added value that you get with, with, with mold. So one of the things which I know that you must probably have to pay extra for is a separate on and off button. So we see across the digital ranges that customers especially like to have an, an additional kind of on and off button outside of the sharing area. So whether it's on the outside of the enclosure or kind of one at the end of the bath to operate bath fill, etc. These are included in all of the Myra mold range. So this has a 10 linear meter um, hard, hard wired cable that goes back to the digital mixing valve. And this has an additional 10 meter hard wired connection back to the digital mixing valve. 
and as I say, really nice tweak for uh, for customers because they can stick that in the sharing area and they can turn it on and off still using the on and off button without getting their arm wet um, in the morning to turn it on first thing. And as I say, as well as, as the actual extra on and off button, the big thing with Myra Mold is it comes with the app. Um, and as I mentioned a little bit earlier, the app has just been upgraded so that you can now use the brand new Myra app that comes with Myra Activate retrospectively for Myra Mold as well. So um, for around the same price point, you get the extra on and off button, you get the use of the app. Um, and dare I say, the Apple Ease of Visage has been out for quite a while. Um, the Myra Mold, definitely a lot younger and a lot more better looking um, in comparison. Oh boy, I'm biased. Um, so <laughs> yeah, that's a um, great question there, Martin, thank you. Um, just have a look now in terms of um, some of those that have been through. I don't want to kind of neglect anybody, any of the early worms that, that got in here. Um, <clears throat> so a uh, question from Danny, I've registered for the loyalty program and Myra installed a pro and registered a show which has given me 50 points. Is it just online e-vouchers I can redeem my points for or is it Myra products and merchandise as well? Um, P.S. You're a legend on Gas App and definitely deserve a pay rise. I'll send you my boss's number down. Um, <laughs> thank you. Um, so, yeah, um, on Installer Pro, we've launched, um, as I say, launched last week. At the moment, if you go on to Installer Pro, um, across a selected range of products, of which there are many, um, you can currently earn points, which you can then exchange in um, and, and cash in your rewards for a variety um, of, of kind of online and also high street vouchers as well. Too many to mention, to be honest. Um, but yeah, at the moment we've gone live with the, the vouchers. I was really keen really just to, to bring it to you guys so you can start earning your points, to be honest. But towards the end of the month, we'll also be going live with Myra merchandise as well. So Myra Installer Pro, we'll have um, workwear, we'll have kind of um, Myra Installer Pro merchandise, also some, some kind of installer equipment as well. So kind of some Myra Installer Pro dust sheets, um, the rubber work mats as well, which are proving so popular at the minute. I know kind of people are falling out of themselves to get the, the gas app ones and the plum app ones as well. So we'll also have some Myra Installer Pro ones as well. Some of the smaller ones for working on worktop. So again, if you're going to service in a boiler or you want someone to put your tools down and um, so as to, to protect people's tiles in the bathroom, um, we've got some smaller ones, 600 by 400. And we've also got some 600 by 900 um, ones coming as well that you can cash your points in for, which are fantastic for kind of laying in a shower tray if you're doing any work on, on kind of replacement, fitting a new shower or kind of servicing as well. So lots to come um, with regard to that, Dan, as well. So, yeah, kind of all I can, you know, really, really ask of you really is, is, is get on there, sign up, get involved. Um, and as I say, kind of, you know, this is just the beginning really for Installer Pro. We're hoping to kind of bring it on a lot more as well. From where we started from. <clears throat> um, good question here from Mike in terms of um, platinum digital showers. So I have a customer who's got two platinum digital showers. Both appear to fluctuate on temperature from hot to cold. So temp fluctuate temperature from hot to cold. Okay, yeah. So um, if you've got fluctuation on temperature from a digital product, I think the thing to keep in mind with a digital product is arguably it, it's kind of a lot more accurate than a mechanical thermostatic mix involved. So, again, here I've got um, a, a single outlet version of um, Myra. I'll tell you what it is by looking inside, it's easier. Of, of Myra Platinum. So, as you can see, you've got your hot and your cold feed here, your thermostatic um, digital mixing valve here, and then you mix you, your blended outlet there. So we've got a similar question um, a little bit further up, whereby, you know, just in terms of how does a digital um, shower work um, and what's that kind of comparison just in terms of the response um, and the, the, um, the safety aspect of it kind of maintaining a stable temperature, but also kind of protecting users um, should the water get too hot. So in answer to that question is that a digital mixing valve is so, so, so more accurate um, than a, a thermostatic um, cartridge, a mechanical one. So, as I say, kind of, you know, same, same kind of story, hot and cold feed blend out. But here, what we've got is we've got a thermistor. So, the thermistor is recording the temperature of the blend temperature coming out the valve all the time, feeding that back to the PCB. And whether it be a wireless connection or a hardwired version, 
either back to the user interface controller or even to the app if you're controlling the shower from your phone, then the thermostat will keep the blend temperature accurate by plus or minus one degree. So even on a TMV3 um, mechanical mixing valve, you, you're still likely to experience you know, sudden fluctuations if you rapidly change the supply conditions, either the temperature's fluctuating or the, uh, the pressures are fluctuating across the hot and cold as well. So when it comes to a digital shower, they are extremely accurate, as I say. That thermistor is, is recording that, and it, it, it's keeping it stable, plus or minus one. In the event, let's say, for instance, complete cold failure happens, the filter gets blocked on the cold side, then that thermostat um, will actually tell the PCB, it will shut the solenoid, solenoid will close, and you'll get full thermal shutdown, much the same as you do on a thermostatic um, mechanical mixing valve but just a digital equivalent as well. So kind of back to your question really, Mike, just in terms of the fluctuations of the temperature. So as I say, probably the first thing to kind of just investigate is just your suppliers. So much the same as any kind of thermostatic mixing valve, whether it be digital or mechanical, we'd also always say that, you know, you're, you're hot and you're cold, do an audit of your suppliers. Your cold needs to be 0 to 20, uh, sorry, not 0, um, 5 to 20 degrees, less than 20 degrees on your cold supply and your hot needs to be 55 to 65. Also, we also recommend that you've got kind of nominally equal pressures across the hot and the cold as well. So check for those, you know, just audit those suppliers, make sure that you've got no kind of um, fluctuations both in pressure or in temperature that's feeding the valve. Um, and then kind of, once you've kind of done that, obviously check your filters as well, just ensure there's no blockages on there. But again, the kind of the peace of mind with one of these is that you've got a five-year guarantee on it. So in the unlikely event that there is something wrong with it at all, Mike, give us a call and we'll arrange for one of our engineers to come out and take a look at it for you. And as I say, with a five-year guarantee, if there's any parts that have gone on it or anything like that, that's all covered, whether it be the valve, the PCB, whatever. So, um, yeah, appreciate that. Thanks for um, sending that through. Um, question here from Will. How important is seasonal variation when specifying an electric shower? So yeah, much to um, to what kind of what we discussed earlier, really. I think you know an electric shower, it's an instantaneous water heater. So much the same as a combi, um, it's quite really trying to convey that to the customer that you know in the winter months, you know any instantaneous water heater, it's not going to be able to heat the water as fast as when it was in the, the summer months because the temperature of the cold mains is significantly lower. So again, I think kind of one of the the, the frequent inquiries we will get sometimes from the winter throughout the winter from consumers is that my, my flow rate's not as good um you know and, and the simple fact is they're about to turn the flow down on the the, the, the temperature dial you know they, they, the it, the shower wasn't as hot so they've, they've turned it up which is therefore reduced the flow rate in order for the water to flow through the shower slower in order to get to get the um, adequate temperature so I think kind of seasonal variation, really, you know, there are limitations to an electric shower that they just are because it's instantaneous. So I think, you know, specifying electric shower, always go for, you know, from an affordability factor, at least the best and, and the highest kilowatt rating that you can go for. Um, similarly, um, when it comes to kind of the performance aspect, if performance is absolutely an issue, the highest kilowatt rating and also um, a sport max with air boost boost the flow by 30% anyway. So that ho then hopefully kind of counteracts some of the negative effects that winter has as well. So um, hope that answers your question, Will. I think the, the big aspect to kind of keep in mind with any electric shower is that we need to optimise them so that they give you the best performance in the winter as much as they do in the summer and vice versa. So all of our electric showers have what we call OptiFlow. So basically, if you look at some of our competitor showers in the summer months, they have quite the opposite effect. So they'll turn the temperature down because basically the shower's too hot, but basically they can't turn the flow up high enough in order to cool the temperature down and therefore end up, end up having to turn one element off by turning the shower from high to medium. By doing so then, they're only putting half as much heat in the shower and they're then having to turn the flow rate, i.e. the temperature, all the way back round again to get it too hot. So it's, it's a lose-lose because with an electric shower with seasonal effect, you've got a lower flow rate in the winter anyway. And then when summer comes, with our competitors who are having to turn it down to, to one element, they're having a, a, a kind of just a, as bad an experience as well. 
Whereas with our products um, and all of our electric shares with OptiFlow is that we, we kind of, particularly on, on the cold as well, give the greatest flow rate that we can in order to ensure that you can have both elements on in, in, in summer and enjoy the best sharing experience kind of all, all year round as well. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, question from Kieran McGuirk here. What is a direct replacement for the Myra Event Shower? So Myra Event, if you're unfamiliar with the event range of showers, is, is a power shower. So um, hot and cold supply from a gravity-fed system, boost it with um, a three-amp um, power supply with an integral pump to it as well. So um, Myra Event Shower. So the Myra Event Shower, the range is still going strong. So we've manufactured that for many years now. I think it's on its, its third generation, the Myra Event, in terms of um, the, 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 the kind of, not least the, the, the name and the range, but also kind of the third iteration of the design. So the Myra event is still available. We do events, we do a manual version and also a thermostatic version. Um, as you'd expect, I'd always advocate a thermostatic version, but there are people, particularly if they've got kind of, <clears throat> you know, all weird and wonderful configurations, kind of you, you, you get kind of wood burning stoves and things like that, heating old gravity fed systems. So they're like a manual just in case the wood burning stove's not on, so they have to turn it all the way around, etc. But in my position, I'd always advocate a thermostatic one. So you can still get more events. We also do um, a few more kind of different families across the power range as well. So we do Mara Vigor, um, which is also a power shower, which will drop straight on top of Mara Event. And we also do as well the Mara Go power shower, um, which again, part of the, um, the same kind of footprint will go straight over um, an old Mara Event as well. Should you need to um, replace one of those, those as well, Kieran? So hopefully um, that answered your question as well. Um, question here from Corbinda, um, Corbinda Bansal. Will Myra be manufacturing a pumped electric shower similar to a power shower? As I've had a lot of customers who say that their pressure isn't great on electric showers. So this is a really, really good question just in terms of a specification for electric showers. So... <clears throat> If, you, if you're unfamiliar with it, we do do a pumped electric shower, which is the Myra Elite SE range of electric showers. So they're, again, much the same as, as the, the, the rest of the range that I talked about earlier. They're available in a single and a dual outlet version with an overhead deluge. But they're designed specifically for gravity-fed systems. So for those instances, you know, and, and they're hugely popular um, in Ireland and Southern Ireland where the, the maintained pressure is, is quite low on the, uh, the mains cold. So therefore, because they can't fit a conventional electric shower because it doesn't meet the main the minimum maintained pressure of either 0.7 or one bar, then what they'll do is they'll have um, they'll take the cold feed off the cold water storage system um, and then feed that to the pumped electric shower, the Myra Elite SE, which therefore boosts the flow with an integrated pump. So great question, Corinda, just in terms of kind of how we kind of be building that that um, kind of product range. So the Mara Elite will will kind of, for the meantime at least, only remain suitable for gravity fed systems. As I say, should be fitted with an independent cold water storage system in order to feed it. The integrated pump will boost the flow. Um, there are no plans at the moment to have an integrated pump within um, a cold mains fed electric shower. Um, mainly kind of start to hit the myriad of problems just in terms of water regulations. So kind of, you know, many of you will be familiar with kind of um, mains booster pumps now. I think kind of Grundfoss have their own, um, Salamander also have their own as well, um, such as the Salamander Home Boost. So I think when we start integrating technology like that into a shower, you're hitting all the water, regulator pro water regulation problems because we're prohibited to boost the flow rate over 12 litres a minute anyway because of um, water regs. So for that reason, um, the Mara Elite SE is specifically for gravity-fed systems um, and the mains fed showers, Mara Sport and, and all the other electric showers we've talked about tonight are specifically for, uh, for cold mains feeds as well. Um, just trying to find any more questions. So still coming through strong. Um, so um, what is the recommendations for the volume of cold water storage tanks with a pumped shower? Oh, gosh. God, Graham, that's a, that's a good question. So I, uh, off the top of my head, I'm sure it's 240 litres um, for the cold water storage system. 
And that's to satisfy, we, we stipulate that in our instructions to stipulate um, the, the cold water feed, both for the system, the system to feed the cylinder, but also to take off the cold as well um, for any pump shower. So if you fit in kind of a mixer shower with an inline pump, if you fit in one of our pumped digital showers, um, or if you fit in one of our power showers with an integrated pump in it, um, we do recommend that kind of 240 litres is a starting point as a minimum for you, your cold water storage system as well. Um, another question from um, Graham, just in terms of the air boost. So does the injection of air into the air boost reduce the shower temperature? So we've definitely not kind of had any indication that that's the case. I think one of the things with, um, with showering anyway is that it's actually really surprising how much temperature is lost just from when the temperature, the, the shower, the water leaves the actual handset and then when it hits your body anyway. So there's always some temperature loss just in terms of latent heat when it's coming out of there. And I think kind of because the, the air is injected at that point when it's dispersed from the handset, it doesn't add any additional cooling, only just the force of, of blasting the water out. But um, great consideration. Um, so yeah, no, that's really good. Um, Liam's asked the question about Installer Pro as well. Is there an expiration time on the points on Installer Pro? Um, so no, we're, we've got every plans just in terms of um, the, the, the point rollover is really to kind of allow you to have at least 12 months on those. And if you do need to roll over into the following year as well, we will roll those over for you. I think very mindful with, um, with points as you kind of, you're building those up is that sometimes you might have your eyes on, you know, a particular piece of merchandise or saving for, for kind of a certain amount of vouchers so that you want to kind of build those up. So no, absolutely not. We'll let that run. Um, the only stipulation really for the points is that the product that you um, that you register is, is kind of registered, customer's name and address, what the product is, and also provide proof of purchase um, uploaded from your smartphone or from your desktop um, just to, to um, kind of validate the fact that you bought it basically. So um, great question uh, there, Liam, with regards to Installer Pro. Um, just looking here, here now, so um, Mark, how do we win the jumpers? Um, so you've just won the jumpers by asking a question mark. So you don't have to be about showers. So um, yeah, the hoodies, we're giving, as I say, 10 um, Myra Installer Pro hoodies away um, to support the launch of um, our brand new Installer Loyalty Program. Um, so just by pinging the question through, you're going to be into the, the draw mark. So could be you. Um, just looking here, Mark Thornton. Um, the plastic pipe hole covers on the top and bottom electric showers, like my regard will be, never seem to clip in properly and fall, fall out whilst installing. Is there something I'm doing wrong? So no, absolutely not, Mark. I think kind of the, the, the filling, um, kind of the, the void fillers, just in terms of, um, you know, particularly on my advance and things like that, um, that it, it, it's a bit of plastic. The thing to keep in mind about kind of any of our electric showers is that they're all IPX4 rated anyway. So whether you've got those things in or not, um, it makes no difference to the kind of um, <clears throat> keeping the water out, etc. They've all been IPX4 rated, protected from water spray at all angles um, with those things in or out. So you're not doing anything wrong. I think in my, my experience, I always find that where you can, get the shower on the wall, secure the cover, and put them in afterwards where you can, to be honest, Mark. Um, Question from Lee here with regards to digital shower. Um, I'm running a digital shower off unvented. Does the cold need to come off the combi valve for balance feed or will be tap, tapping into the cold mains be sufficient? Um, much the same as, as what we were talking about a little bit earlier, really, Lee, with, with the digital valves. Um, with any thermostatic mixing valve, whether it be mechanical, or, or, you know, a normal mechanical mixer, or whether it be a digital, um, we would always kind of recommend you know, the, the, what we would describe as nominally equal pressures across the hot and the cold. Um, in my experience, I think kind of, you know, particularly with, with all the weird and wonderful pressures that we see on cold mains around the country, um, you know, sometimes you could have an unexplained problem with your shower because the mains has gone up or down. So I think where possible, um, we would always advocate that you take that cold off the balance feed um, and then you can be sure then that whatever you, you're delivering to the shower across the hot and the cold, they're as close as practically possible, um, just in terms of giving it the, you know, and I'll say about showers, you give it the best ingredients and it will give you the best output as well. 
Um, question from Mark, can you use push fit to connect onto the digital shower? Um, you, you definitely can, Mark, yeah. So all of our digital showers, so we've got a few now across the range. We've got Myra Mold, we've got, um, which is the one I showed you earlier, the Chrome um, user interface. We've got Myra Platinum, which is the, uh, the black user interface that we're probably most common with. These ones are hardwired, those ones are wireless. And we've obviously got the brand new Myra Activate that I've kind of uh, presented to you guys on Gas App before Christmas, which is also hardwired. All of them come supplied with um, push fit isolation valves. Um, and as well as the, the, the connections onto the valve, whether it be um, the, the copper tiles that come with um, Myra Mold and Myra Platinum, or the new plastic connections on the Myra Activate, you can connect onto all of them using these isolation valves, which is, we supply. And we also supply the, uh, the push fit connections off of the valve as well for you to connect to your pipe work. So you can absolutely use push fit to them. Um, can you buy the merchandise from Mark? So at this point, we just put the merchandise so that it was um, it was going to be redeemable by use of your points. But I think if you guys, you know, if, if, if you want that kind of stuff, then, you know, it's, it's kind of my responsibility to kind of make that happen. So we can definitely look into to that for you, Mark. So I think when it goes live at the end of the month and it's on Installer Pro available to you kind of peruse at your leisure, then by all means, let me know um, what we can do in terms of, of getting that to you if you want to kind of buy anything. Um, do you do a shower that is suitable with a low pressure tank feed but has an internal small pump inside it? Um, absolutely, yeah. Um, Reference that a little bit earlier. So the uh, the Mara Elite SE range of electric showers, um, it's an instantaneous electric shower, but designed specifically for gravity-fed cold, um, and it comes with an integrated brushless pump um, motor in there as well so extremely quiet um, actually quite mark approved um, but also boosts the flow then from that gravity feed as well but um, kind of hasten to add it is specifically for gravity cold feeds um, and not for use on mains as well um, is the performance on a digital shower as good as a traditional shower with regards to the pressure thanks from lee um, yeah even more so to be honest um, so across our digital range um, so we've got this platform here, which I showed you a little bit earlier. So this, this digital mixing valve platform is used across Myra Platinum um, and also Myra Mold as well. So flow rates on this, um, up to 16 litres a minute, um, whether that be pumped from the gravity fed version we do with the integrated pump in it. Um, similarly, on the high pressure feed as well, that will also give you up to 16 litres a minute on the cold. Not that I think you probably want to use that much, but yeah. They are incredibly free flowing, whether it be the high pressure version that I've got here, or whether it be the pumped version with the integrated pump in for gravity. Most definitely, just from a performance perspective, um, you know, equal if not not more than when it comes to the main speed high pressure versions for combis or invented. But um, even when you start to look at the pumped versions, you know, I think kind of digital products, they are kind of, you know, digital sharing products, they are at the, the, the higher price points. But when you factor in the cost of a good quality mixer, um, a kind of an external shower pump, you, you kind of, you know, two thirds of the way there, really, just in terms of that little extra bit of an outlay in order to have a pumped digital mixing valve. You get all the mix, the additional functionality of the app and all of the program, um, the programmable features that you can get. And you get a five year guarantee, not only on the shower, but on the pump that's inside it as well. So absolute kind of no brainer, really, when it comes to, to digital. Um, so do you support colleges I work as a lecturer and think this sort of talk could really help would it be possible to do a team's call yeah definitely Mark we can uh, we can look into arranging that so one of the um, my, my kind of biggest um, jobs really that I've got to, to do over the, the coming weeks um, is start to publish our calendar of events when it comes to kind of training that we'll be going to be facilitating as part of Installer Pro so I think kind of whether it be a kind of pre-recorded thing or something that we can potentially do live for, for you and your students, then we can definitely um, definitely do that, Mark. I think um, what I'd say, um, Mark, is if you drop me a, a message on, on the app, um, I'll and with your your email address, I'll get in touch with you and we'll see what we can um, we can um, arrange. Um, Paul, again, you've asked the same question here. Yeah, Paul Williams, what online training is available? Because of the current situation, you know, we're, we're going to be kicking off with, with um, a calendar of events really for this year. 
whether it be either live virtual training, like what similar to what we're doing here, or pre-recorded stuff, um, where we'll be either looking at specific products um, or, or kind of an overview of, of, of particular ranges, etc. Um, what is the biggest electric show you do kilowatt wires from Neil? And um, biggest kilowatt rating is 10.8 kilowatts on our electric showers. Um, Lee, Lee asks, when is the Mora Activate due to be released? So uh, Mora Activate is available now. Um, so go get yourself on, onto uh, onto Tinternet, and then you can you can find Mora Activate now. So it has gone with um, some selected customers to start off with as part of the learn the launch because of early orders. Um, but you will see towards the end of this month, it becomes a lot more widely available um, across kind of other merchants and other outlets as well. Um, so yeah, Mora Activate is most definitely available now, mate. Um, how many buyer products need to be fitted to gain points for the loyalty scheme and do they expire from Callum? So um, Myra products, are, the, the points are eligible across a range of our products. So as I say, get yourself signed up, get involved, have a look on there. Um, so it, it's across the showers, across trays, across enclosures, um, host of products there just in terms of what you can get, get points for. Um, and as I say, we've got no plans for kind of them to expire, certainly not kind of within the 12 months. We will let you roll over into the following year if you kind of, you, you're planning to kind of accrue those for either a particular sum of uh, vouchers or, or for, for some specific merchandise as well. Um, Good question here again. Um, is there a way of identifying an existing Myra shower from inside, like a serial number, etc.? Are all and also are all mi Myra mixer showers suitable for combi boilers? So yeah, two questions in one there. So yeah, all of our mixer showers are designed for combi boilers. So mentioned a little bit earlier, if it's a digital shower, you do need to specify whether you need a high pressure or a low pressure. High pressure is suitable for combination boilers and unvented. And if you've got a gravity fed system, we do a pumped digital shower with an integrated pumping for gravity. But in terms of our mixer showers, one of the, um, the unique things about Myra mixer showers is that they incorporate what is known as MagniFlow technology. So basically, as part of the design stage for all of our mixers, we ensure that they're as free flowing as possible. So kind of the guys in the, our, our new product development department will whack to lyrical in terms of kind of fluid dynamic dynamic kind of functional modeling, etc. So anytime there's an opportunity with the internal waterways within our mixer showers to ensure that the flow rate can be optimized and increased, they'll manufacture it specifically for that. So much so that, you know, as I say, with MagniFlow technology in our mixers, we guarantee that they'll work on any system, even down to as low as 0.1 bar. Um, and also across those systems as, as well, it'll give you, you know, as much as up to three times more flow than you will on a competitor as well with a, a comparable supply condition. So you can definitely fit our mixers on a combi. In terms of product identification, that's a really good question, to be honest. I think many of you guys, if, if, if hopefully you're jumping on um, to the loyalty scheme with Myra Installer Pro, all the details kind of, you know, can be found on the app um, if you want to get involved. Um, you will need to register your products. First of all, you'll need to kind of obviously have, have your proof of purchase and, and register the product where it's been installed, etc. We will need to identify the product as well. So on our digital products, you can see there's a product sticker just on the top there. So N85A and 2420. So N85A is the product code. So if you type that into the, um, the Myra Installer Pro website when you're registering that product, you'll get a drop down and you can then select, is it a Myra Platinum, is it a Myra Mold, et cetera, et cetera. And then you've also got the week and the year number that this particular box was manufactured. So week 24 of 2020 was when this rolled off our production line. So again, this, this kind of um, product code and product identification is common across our range. So you'll also see on our electric showers, either at the top or at the bottom of the case, you'll have similar writing as well. So just on here, you've got JO8FD, which signifies the fact that it's a Morris Sprint and it is uh, 9.5 kilowatt, and also 0520, which is the week and year of manufacturer. And then equally, if you've not got the case, it's also on the side of the sharer as well. Little bit harder with our mixer showers. So normally those identifying pieces 
are on the underside of a knob or something like that on the front of the shower. So it would require you to start taking the shower to pieces. We don't want you to do that. So inside all of your um, Myra products that you purchase, particularly showers, will be the guarantee card. And there'll also be the same sticker on that guarantee card to identify the product code or the week and year number when it was manufactured. So yeah, you will need those details as well as part of registering products for Insula Pro. So absolutely fantastic question. Um, just kind of picking through the uh, the last bits now here. I'm kind of very conscious that if you've took the time to ask a question, I would want to give you the courtesy of uh, answering it, to be honest. Um, so um, good question from Paul here. How long will we more be supporting spares for the digital showers? as they're extreme, obviously extremely difficult to replace with someone else once they are fitted due to the cable. Um, so spares for all of our range, we kind of, we make a big commitment um, with, with all of our range that spares will be available for a minimum of 10 years. Um, many, you know, many of you guys, particularly you've kind of, if you, you do show repairs yourself or you've seen some of the activity on the app, we're, we're making spares for products that were manufactured 30, sometimes 40 years ago. So yeah, as a minimum, you will have those products available for up to 10 years. But again, when we start to see the, the legacy of our product ranges and how long we sell them for, um, it, it typically extends well beyond that as well. So with this hardwire um, kind of digital showers, as, as you mentioned there, Paul, there'll definitely be spares available well, well up to those 10 years. Um, nice question here from Graham, Graham Kipson. I've noticed a lot of black dust in the SE. Should I be concerned about this? So by the SE, I'm anticipating you mean the Elite SE. Um, so anything basically, um, the Elite SE or what the, the Myra event, um, which has got an integrated pump in it as well. Um, anything basically with a pump in it will have the, um, the, 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 the dust basically from the carbon brushes from the pump. So it's nothing to be concerned about, to be honest. Um, as I say, it, it is purely dust from the pump. Um, what I would recommend that if you're doing any kind of maintenance, you know, on that shower, you just wipe the cover out. Um, and, and again, kind of through experience is that don't wipe it over with a, a, a wet rag or something like that. Take it outside, nice dry microfiber cloth, dust it off and just, just dust that dust out. Um, if you do come to change any of the components in the shower because you, you're doing a re repair or something over it longer time, Graham, then I think kind of, you know, much the same as you might do with a boiler, just get in there with the Henry um, and get any of the, the kind of the excess out. But um, no, it really shouldn't, shouldn't be um, an issue, to be honest, Graham. But again, great question as well. Um, I think that's all the questions now as, as they've started to, to, to come through now. Um, Good question here just in terms of um, qualifications etc so what qualifications do you have to have to wire an electric shower do you have to be part P or 18th edition so you know obviously as a manufacturer you know we would always advocate that any of our products is fitted by a competent person um, now with an electric shower th there is no currently no stipulation to be a member of a, of a competent person scheme to install an electric shower providing that it's a replacement and then it's like for like. Again, obviously, we would only advocate that it's, it's somebody who's suitably competent and experienced. We would obviously promote best practice when it comes to kind of, you know, safe, safe isolation, testing for dead, locking off um, to, to kind of ensure and safeguard you and, and, and your customer while you're doing it. But in terms of, of those regulations, and, and again, kind of the guys at Sterling have kind of backed me up on this, the replacement of an electric shower can be done, um, providing that you're not changing the characteristics of that electrical circuit. So if you're swapping a nine kilowatt shower for a nine kilowatt shower, then it's normally fine um, to do so. The um, the requirement for either kind of extra qualifications or a, a membership of a, of a competent person scheme normally come into when you're either changing the kilowatt rating of the shower from what's the one what is already on there already, or if you fit in a, a new electric shower from scratch, running a new radial supply, sizing that cross-sectional area of cable and determining the size of the NCB, et cetera. So um, I think kind of from an electrical standpoint, it, it's really kind of providing it's a like-for-like -like replacement, you're on good good ground. Um, but 
anything out, outside of those realms, you really should consult with um, a qualified electrician as well. So I'm um, conscious of the time and the fact that I've been um, rambling on for over an hour now. So um, really, really appreciate your questions, guys, tonight. Um, fantastic to, to kind of get the, the engagement and the interest in Myra. Um, you know, I'll, I'll kind of chat to you about Cher as, as, as long as the cows come on, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, really, really appreciate your, your, your questions, your time and attention, both to submit the questions and also listen in tonight. Anybody that has submitted a question will be put into the prize draw to win one of those 10 Myra Installer Pro hoodies as well. We'll announce the winners tomorrow. We'll get those sent out from Pulseware, um, who are obviously in association with Gas App and Plum App as well. Um, and as I say, I think kind of what would be fantastic is for you guys to get involved in Myra Installer Pro, get yourself on there, get signed up, um, and any el the eligible products that you're installing for us, it's an opportunity for you to, to earn points and also kind of keep up to date in terms of news, our, new and our latest products. And I'll also could be um, putting kind of regular updates on there just in terms of training videos and things like that. Um, within that that micro site as well whenever you're going on to do it but equally um, as I say the training and these live lounges um, are something that I massively enjoy and something that we'll be doing more of with Plum App and Gas App as well so um, I'll leave it there for this evening um, as I say thank you very much for your time and attention and um, I'll probably highly likely catch up with you guys on the app thanks again cheers bye now